Um, I do find it immoral. Uh, What's I, immoral about it? What's immoral about it is that these are people who want asylum. Yeah. And so what's immoral about it? So instead of us giving them asylum, we're going to just package them off to somewhere else and say... So what's immoral well, about it? That's that's the immoral thing. They've come to, I don't, I don't they, see what's come, immoral about they've that. They've come to us for help. And, and we are, so isn't it immoral of France to have not offered them asylum? Yeah. For, and, and France, France so why is it our problem? Because they've now come across to us. So it's, ship them back to France. Literally, literally just, literally just, just put them on a ferry straight back. Well, actually, I don't think that's a terrible idea. I, th <laughs> I think, I think, I think that's. So that, but that would, that wouldn't be immoral. No, I don't. think That would be. But, but taking them to Rwanda is. What's so wrong about Rwanda? There's nothing so much wrong with Rwanda, but it just feels that a country that has a, a checkered um, human rights record, uh, a country that is still, it's still illegal, more or less, to be a uh, part of the LGBTQ community. Oh God, I'm not okay. Gay. Say the word gay. <laughs> it's illegal. LGBT. I won't have Q on. I won't okay. have any of that. Not you know. I'm not. I'm not. I just won't play along with this madness. Fine. Right. It's, it's, it's illegal in loads of countries. Yeah. So we shouldn't be sending. We shouldn't be teaming up with any countries. We're not teaming. Well, we are teaming up with them. We've, we've paid. We paid them what, 120 million to be part of this. So I, I think. I think it's a complete waste of money. And I, yeah, I do think it's I more. Mean, if I, you are that desperate that you fled a lot of these these people are coming from Iran, Iraq. Um, uh, I think Sudan, Libya, I think, I think Syria. but I think I think the ones who led Syria, yeah. Um, and uh, if you're that desperate, and you're offering persecution and war, and you, we, we, we're putting you in a safe country. We've seen some of the footage of the the hotels they're going to be put in, and resettlement and education and training mm -hmm. uh, for five years and the like. If you're that desperate, you'll be grateful, well, or maybe you're not that desperate. I, th I think I think they are that desperate. I think they are, but obviously they're that desperate. But they also have. But they, they but they don't want to go to a safe country. But they also would have a network here. That's that's also part. Why of would the they thing. have a network here? Well, they'd have some. Some of them have friends. Some of them have family here. So sorry. Do you know what thing is? I've got friends and family in in, in the United States. Okay, I've got my stepsister and her her children. They live in the United States, and um, and I've 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 got friends over there. I, I lived there in, in the past as a child, and and, and six months uh, uh, after university. Uh, I should I should have a right to go to to the United States. I turn up and try and live in the United States and work in the United States. They'll ship me home. Would that be immoral? Well, <laughs> would that be immoral? That wouldn't be immoral. No, of course it wouldn't be immoral because countries get to decide who lives in who lives on, on their land. Yes, but this this particular case I find immoral, Julia, because the, you are not fleeing persecution. You are well, not the, fleeing the war. Well, the people in France are people who've made it to France ain't fleeing persecution either. They're not. And for those people who come across on the dinghies, I would say, okay, actually, instead of sending them back to Rwanda, let's send them back to the to, to France. That's what I would say. And then we should have much better, stronger dialogue. So France won't take France. them because France is happy to get rid of them, which is why France makes it quite hard for people to apply for asylum. And uh -huh. France has France has some very, very big race relations, community relations issues uh, as a result of the mass immigration that they've had as well. It, it, it doesn't work. Mass, uncontrolled, very fast, large-scale immigration is not good for any country. It doesn't matter what colour people are. It doesn't matter what nationality people are. It, doesn't, it is very difficult for people to assimilate, to, to come into countries and to... To, and become, you know, to become part of that country's culture and to sort of put down roots and, be, I mean, and, and add to that culture as opposed to living in sort of effectively parallel societies, mm -hmm. which is what we've had with a number of countries, not a not, 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 not number of cultures that have arrived in, in our country, and just what people were, you know, are upset and angry about. Um, the reality is these are largely, almost entirely, healthy young men the idea that even if they are fleeing you know, war and persecution and the like in um, in these countries, what are the odds that it just happens to be a bunch of 20-year-old able-bodied men who are experiencing the worst persecution in those countries? What about the elderly? What about the disabled? What about the women? What about the children? Where are they? Because, I'm sorry, the, the vast majority of people getting off those boats are not any of those things. They're not. But if I was, um, if my family were in danger, I would probably go ahead, um, settle down. Just leave them behind. I would leave them somewhere safe, and I would move. I'd move across and, and find so the, oh, and build oh, a home. Wait a minute. So the families are somewhere. Oh, JJ, <laughs> he fell in. He fell into my bear trap. <laughs> So, so the family is somewhere safe. Uh, you know what? Do you know what? If my family were fearing persecution, we're, we're, we, we are really desperate for our lives. We are really worried. Do you know what my husband wouldn't do? Is leave me and my daughter behind. Yeah. Okay. You make a fair point, Julia. And also, you, you know, do. they're twenty. How many of them are married with kids? This is my thing. I think a lot of people in this country have got a lot of sympathy for people who are in, you know, in, in desperate situations and 
Um, and we you know people you know, being very happy with, say, the people of Hong Kong uh, being offered uh, a safe passage here, um, and, uh, and 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 the people of Ukraine want to come. What people are really upset about is the idea that everyone who lives in a country that's not as good as Britain, which is about five billion people on this planet plus mm -hmm. um, six billion people plus. Um, has a right to come here if they can get on a rickety boat and get here. That's where people say, no, we we don't have space. It's not our responsibility. You live in a you live in a country that's that's in a desperate state. I'm really sorry, but why is that our problem? Well, for the majority of those coming across actually are from Afghanistan, Libya, and Syria. Mm -hmm. Those are all countries in which Britain has has played a part in the destabilisation. Syria, Syria, we didn't play a point. Um, uh, we we didn't get involved in Syria, and it worked out so well. So I think um, if you're desperate enough, because you're and you're saying like uh, I understand your points clearly, but also if you are risking your life in getting on a rubber dinghy you're an idiot. to come across here, well, it, it risking might... your life to escape from Syria, that I get. Mm -hmm. Risking your life to escape from Ukraine, that I get. Risking your life to escape from Calais. You're an economic migrant at that point. But well, what's wrong with economic migration? <laughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong with economic because we migration? Because we in Britain don't have a duty to house six billion people who have it worse off than us. OK, so... Uh, Why don't those young men stay and improve their own countries? I, can, I, comple I completely understand your point on that, but I also add that sending them to Rwanda, I don't think is the answer. And I know... Where can we send them? I knew that was going to be Sweden? a question. Switzerland, Mon Denmark, Monaco, Australia, been suggested. Monaco, yeah, yeah. Oh, then we'd be okay. Is it? I mean, is it because Rwanda's in Africa that we can't send people there? Is that no? The issue? It's because of their questionable history, and because next door so to them in the DRC, Kenya, we could do it. Um, I, I suppose. Okay. I guess so. I, I, I guess so. I, I just find it fascinating. Ken I really do. Kenya seems that Kenya seems a safer bet than than Rwanda. Yeah, except the Kenyans don't want them.